Good morning to YouTube. Snowflakes Automotive, quick little update on my Tahoe. I'm gonna give you guys a little vlog video on everything I did to this truck. What year is it? What kind of engine it has? Tell you everything a lot, everything all about it. I mean, I just got up just a minute ago and I can't talk very well. So if I sound kind of shady, which I do kind of, but anyways, this is the Tahoe. This is a 1999 Chevy Tahoe LS. Um, that's the front of it. It's missing the grill melon because I took it fell off whenever I was. I don't know what I was doing that day, but that's the that's the truck right there. Um, let me walk around on this side. Okay, starting off with this side. Let's do a walk around real quick. What I did so far to this side, I think it was last week. I removed the moldings on the side. I took off the uh, LS badging that was right there. Removed all the trim, all the moldings, all the trim and everything. I removed it off. Uh, what else? I replaced. Uh, I actually removed the window. Rem removed the window trim that was on the side. The little rain guards. I removed those. Don't worry about the plates because they're expired. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a temporary tag so I can drive to school. I did put uh, some stickers back here, as you can see. Um, there's my phone with a paw, my uh, furry badge, and my little furry paws or whatever you call them. But that's that's the truck. Uh, on this side too, uh, it only has like two dents, which they're not by me, they're by the previous owner, which is right there. And right, right here, and right there, and that little cl clear coat peeling off of it. I'm actually gonna sand that down and and repaint it again. So I'm gonna keep it the original color. Same thing on this side. Moldings are gone. Still gotta take it to the car wash and pressure wash all that shit off of there. She's a little dirty. Just sitting. I gotta blow dry all this shit out of the way today so I can take some better pictures. And starting off the top, it could use a paint job, and it's not that bad. The rain guards are gone on this side, but I left all this random ass mess right here. Sand, sand, um, buff, uh, sandpaper that shit, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. Or just pressure wash it or whatever. But I'll show you guys the back. Oh, yeah, it's got a little dip. Couple dents here, here, and there. But that can easily be popped out with a magnet. Back here is nothing. Oh, back here, I replaced the speakers. Not, not the speakers, but the speaker grills, because one of them was missing. I put new speaker grills. Well, this one was brand new, and this is the original that came with the truck. Got my stuff back here I didn't take out. That's the story that's going in tomorrow. I'm um, show you guys the back. What I did so far, I put my zebra seat covers. It's a clean truck. I put uh, all new speakers all the way around. I took the speakers off a 2010 Chevy Impala. And for some reason, they just, they, it didn't have no plastic bracket on them or nothing. So what I did, they just bolted it right up. And what do you know? Headliner in this truck is pretty nice. Rear AC. There's the front of it. I'm gonna do it like intake do 300 like he did like he sat in the back of a 2009 Tahoe and he filmed it from back here so anyways that's the cockpit um, put my zebra steering wheel cover my zebra floor mats my computer I put that little mic whatever you call it up there and I also put my uh, my uh, Bluetooth uh, radio as you can see um, I replaced that door handle, which I need to go to the junkyard and get that one right there. Um, what else I did so far? I put all both speakers all the way around. I put both speakers in all four doors. Which I think is pretty legit. Same thing with my keys. Look at that. Um, there's the miles. Oh, and I did put a two-line display mirror. Of a 2002 Tahoe. 
and I haven't did anything to the engine yet so um, but it's got power locks power windows power mirrors uh, need to get both mirrors replaced this one's this one works but for some reason that one does not ro rotate so I have to get a new one I keep my truck clean I don't like it dirty as you can see it's kind of dusty because oh crud yeah I need to get that cleaned up because I was underneath the truck just a couple days ago and I was replacing the some a brake light switch or whatever you call it because the brake lights didn't work from the back so it was that little it was this stupid thing down here that I need to electrical tape um so yeah that's the truck guys um that's it for now thank you guys for watching it's kind of my channel snowflakes automotive anyways peace